everybody. My name is Saifina from the Busy Busy Box, and I'm back again with an update on our COVID-19 vaccines. In our last video, we talked about what clinical trials are and which companies are developing their vaccines and how far they've been going in terms of our clinical trials. So today, I'll be talking about which about um, how far the, these companies have gotten and what exactly they're doing right now. So in the first week of September, AstraZeneca, a company that was developing the vaccine, announced that it was pausing um, their clinical trials. Why? Because a patient in UK who, walk, who volunteered for the um, testing got an unexplained sickness. Now, some sources say that this was spinal inflammation and it included symptoms such as um, muscle weakness, pain, and paralysis. AstraZeneca isn't telling the public what exactly happened um, to this patient and they're not giving details such as um, like, is she healthy? Is she okay? How did this sickness even come in the first place? And other details like those ones. So, and just yesterday, which was September 12th, um, the UK allowed AstraZeneca to continue their testing. And AstraZeneca um, said okay, and they're resuming their testing on people. I don't I don't really, I don't think this idea was really great because even after someone got sick because of their vaccine, they're continuing to test on people. How do we know that their vaccine might not affect more people in much more severe ways? We don't know that. So I don't think that was really a great idea. Now we do have another company in the race of the COVID vaccines. And that's Pfizer. Pfizer, um, just yesterday, which was September 12th, announced that um, they had up to 30,000 volunteers. And they're planning to, exp to expand um, the, their number of volunteers to 44,000. That's a really big number. And they're doing this so that their, their results will be more diverse and it'll, it'll be more accurate. So this, this is um, a good way to be testing when you're in the phase three of the clinical trials. And also Fi the Pfizer's CEO said that they plan to release their vaccine by the end of October, 2020. Now, another member of Pfizer is disagreeing with him. And he is saying that the vaccine will only be released um, after 2021 and he's saying that even if the vaccine is released um, before 2020 ends it'll only be to some people on only people who are at very high risk of COVID. Now the company um, who has actually been catching up in our vaccine race is Moderna. Moderna um, just on August 26th announced that, that um, their results have, have also included older citizens. So initially, their vaccine wasn't really made for older people. And the public kind of started to criticize them, saying that the older people are at the most risk of COVID. So it should really include um, older citizens too. So on August 26th, Moderna, Moderna um, announced that their results would also, their vaccine would also be good for old people. So older citizens, which is really good because those are the people who are at the highest risk of COVID. And Moderna also said that their vaccine could be stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius. And that's kind of a competition with Pfizer because Pfizer's vaccine can be stored at negative 70 degrees Celsius. So it'll be easier to store Moderna's vaccine because it's at a warmer temperature. 
So that would be easy to transport and distribute if their vaccine is effective. So all of these companies are at different levels of progress in their vaccine. Yet they're all saying that they'll have their vaccine before the end of 2020. And if that really happens, that would be great. So this is my briefing on our COVID-19 vaccine update. Stay tuned for more updates on the COVID-19 vaccines. Thank you and bye.